All right, guys, I uh, just wanted to do a quick intro video for the most boring video you've probably seen today. It's uh, three cables at different price points and how they affect the sound going into your amplifier. Oh my goodness, wow, what, what, an, what an incredible comparison video. Point being is that I, I bore myself really easily anyway, and I thought I really can't be bothered doing this whole video about this and the mics and setup and everything like that. But the reason I wanted to do it was because, but well, to my ears, I was actually playing differently through different cables. Like, like the feel of it was, or at least what I was getting back from the cab felt different enough for me to play better or worse, which is which blew my mind, right? So sonically, I think they do sound different. Um, I, I don't think they sound as big as I thought they did. There's a guy called Pete Thorne on YouTube. If you, if you care about all this stuff, he's in a really good video explaining all the differences between all these. And it's way more in depth and I'm not gonna get into any of that. Basically, all I wanted to get across is that when you use a different cable to, to what you might be using or whatever, it affects my work, in, in my opinion, it affects the way that I approach EQ, the effect that the amount of compression, the, the settings on the amp, when how much I boost the top end or back off the bottom end and stuff like that. And that was all between just a cable. I'm not using any boost pedals, no, no effects. I'm not even going through a tuner, literally one cable into the amp and the cab. So we've got three amps, same guitar for each one, different pickup uh, select selection pickup pattern thing. Um, and it's going through the Matam 412. So we've got diesel VH4 on channel four. We've got the Weinbrock uh, ME50, ME5, sorry, uh, Barracuda 50 watt, 60 watt, whatever it is, uh, Fender Bassman copper, definitely. Um, and super, super clean. Uh, and then we've got like a mid kind of crunchy, uh, scoopy blues country thing. I don't know what it is. Uh, just a different tone, three different tones basically. Um, and that's for the Silver Jubilee 100 watt from Marshall. Uh, and they're all going through the mat amp. The three mics are the SM57 standard, the KU5A, which is, I think is incredible. It kind of gives you that like low end type thing that um, AEA do, they're incredible. And um, U67 uh, with like a high pass filter on and a minus 10, cause it's just coming in really loud. Um, and they're all in phase. So I've basically just done a blend of all three of those mics and then just gonna send that straight over as a mono uh, sum of the things. No EQ, no compression, nothing, no processing, whatever. And they're basically all the same volume and the amp settings, I'll put them in each bit. Um, and they're basically, they, they're all exactly the same. So so this is going, um, I'll, I'll say which pickup position it's on for each bit, but uh, but it's like middle pickup, then bridge, then, uh, sorry, then the neck, then bridge. Uh, for the different amps and stuff like that. So you've got like all the best of um, the pickups. So PJD St. John standard, uh, absolutely love it. The P9 is an incredible, one of the best things I've ever heard in my life. And uh, the Cream Tees uh, pickups. So one's a humbucker, one's a P90. Um, and yeah, that's it. I don't want to do a massive conclusion about like what I thought about the cables, but they definitely make me feel like I'm playing differently. And you could say that's a placebo and great. And even if it is, if I get a better performance out of playing from a cable, then you can weigh up whether you think that's worth doing. One is called uh, a Clarity Cable from Loaded for Bear, uh, and they are uh, in Hebden Bridge, which is not really miles from me. And I bought all these cables, so they're not like sponsored and amps and everything. You know, none of it's free, so it's cool. Uh, so they're completely like just my opinion is my opinion. And uh, this is a cable from um, Lynx, like Pro Audio Custom. I think it's called Custom Lynx. Yeah, Custom Lynx, and it's a Sonics cable. And it's got some silent jack ends and stuff like that. Uh, and then this is kind of like a bog standard Fender off the shelf kind of um, uh, cable. Basically. So no DIs, no tuner, nothing like that. No the cables in the way. It's cable, guitar, amp, cab, that's it, job done. Also the uh, playing is somewhat abysmal, of course. Uh, the intonation I've kind of put some fancy strings on so it's kind of wobbling around and it's very low tuning. It's like C standard and then drop uh, to A sharp on the, the diesel for the heavier stuff. Um, and also, if you're listening on your phone, I mean, hope you enjoy the visuals because you're definitely not going to hear the difference. If you do, please leave a comment. That'd be really interesting. Um, yeah, but I'd obviously recommend putting headphones on or studio speakers or anything like that. And uh, I can send you the files if you want to check them out, like 96K and 24-bit, should you feel the need. But yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Let me know if you've got any uh, tips on how to play guitar.